Hey everybody, um, Todd Walker here. Um, what I'm about to do is to uh, upgrade the software on my uh, nav system on my 2001 M5. Um, this is the same upgrade that uh, Ryan did a video on uh, a couple of weeks ago, I guess it was. Um, and I actually found out about the upgrade because he sent me a uh, message on YouTube telling me that there was one available, so uh, I appreciate that. Um, his upgrade was on a Mark IV nav computer. He's upgraded the computer in his to the Mark IV. Mine is a Mark III, so I figured I would go ahead and make a video here um, just to kind of show y'all um, what that looks like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the key on. Um, I don't know what the differences are going to be, so I'm not really sure what I need to uh, to film here. Sorry about the bonging. Oh, it quit. Okay. Um, so I'll just, I'm just going to kind of go through the menus, show you what it looks like right now. Um, there's the onboard computer. Um, there's what the nav screen looks like. Uh, well, let's see. Of course, you have to set a destination before it'll even show you where you are. Alright, so there's what the NAT screen looks like. Old, antiquated, and I never use it. Partially because the uh, the map disc that I have is, I think, probably the original one that came with this car, which means it's 11, 12 years old. Um, this upgrade, of course, is not going to help that situation, but uh, it should make things look prettier. So anyway, um, there's the, uh, the options on DSP. Um, and then here's the set screen with its various options. So anyway, that's what it looks like right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the car off. And I made myself a little cheat sheet here from his video. So I need to go to the back and um, remove the map disk. So we will do that now. Okay. And just as I suspected, the original map disk from 2000. So, take that out, turn the key on, okay, and then I'm supposed to insert the CD that I burned. CD-ROM and navigation computer software will be loaded, which is what it's supposed to do. And this process is probably going to be boring, so I'm going to cut this off um, while it does its thing. Oh, well, here we go. Installation program will update. This can take up to six minutes, so forth and so on. So I'll turn it back on once it's done. Here's the uh, the progress screen, just kind of, so you'll see what that looks like. And the bar seems to be moving fairly quickly, so uh, it looks like it's going to take just a few minutes. All right, there's the we're done screen, and the battery icon on this camera is flashing, so I hope I can finish this video. Anyway, it's telling me the update is complete. I just heard it eject the CD in the trunk, so I'm going to go take that out and hit OK. And just FYI, um, when the progress bar got to the end, it sat there for another, I'm going to say, two or three minutes with a full progress bar looking like it was doing nothing. So uh, if you do yours and it, it does that, don't be alarmed. Um, something hasn't gone wrong. It just, the progress bar is kind of misleading. So uh, let's go back to the trunk again. Tell it OK. The system will reboot. And it will start up with your new configuration. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, um, after doing a little searching, I've switched cameras by the way, so if it looks and sounds different, that's why my battery died in the other one. Um, I did some searching on this key CD thing, and it appears that on the Mark III nav computers, on the earlier versions, they required this key CD. So, I found a, uh, an image on the web, and I uh, burned it. So I'm about to stick that in there, 
with this disc right here that I labeled Nav Update Key CD. I'm going to stick that in there and see if that does the trick. Let's see what she does. Hey, look at that. I think that's going to work. I like the M logo. Use the system only when in traffic, blah, blah, blah. And things do look different. All right, we're back in business. So let's go to the onboard computer. Hmm. Okay. Same options, but the range and outside temperature are um, permanently at the top there, which I like. And then you got your consumption one and two, average speed, limit, distance timer, just like you did before. Let's see what the nav screen looks like. Well, my map disk is in there, so that's probably not going to work. We'll go back. DSP screen looks a little bit different. Same basic options. Settings. Day-night mode. Anyway, let's uh, turn on the radio. Yeah, that looks different too. The screens do look a more modern for sure. Um, didn't look quite as uh, quite as dated as it did before. So that's good. I like that. So anyway, um, I'm going to put the link to the key CD in the comments. Um, if you have a Mark III computer, you may want to go ahead and burn a copy of that key CD just in case you need it. Like I say, the information that I found says that early versions of the Mark III software are going to ask for that key CD. So it's probably a good idea to go ahead and burn it and have it handy just in case yours uh, asks for it. Anyway, Ryan, thanks for the tip. Um, talk to you all later.